Hey guys, so has anyone else noticed that there has been a plethora of cream blush launches lately? I feel like every brand has decided to jump on this bandwagon since I feel like one of the first ones I started hearing about, Flower Beauty. Today we're going to be trying out Ulta's cream blushes and see how they compare to some of the more popular ones on the market right now. I have an Armani, a Maybelline, a Stila, Flower Beauty. So if you guys are curious to see Ulta Beauty's cream blushes tried on and compared to other products that are currently on the market, then just keep watching. Okay, Ulta's cream blushes are called Stay Cheeky Liquid Blush. They come in a little squeezy tube. Very similar to the Flower Beauty one. It ha even has like the clear nozzle on the bottom so you can see the product coming out, which is nice. You can see on one that I have not tried, it's completely clear so you can see when the product is actually coming out so you don't squeeze out too much by mistake, which is a nice thing to have. Um, on here, it just says a sheer flush of color. So let's start off with swatches of the three shades I have from the Ulta collection and then we'll see how they compare to the other ones on the market. This first one from Ulta is called Dusty Pink. The second one is called Preppy Peach. Right off the bat, I can tell you they feel smoother than the Maybelline ones, which is more like a gel formula. And this third one is called Natural Glow, which is more of like a very light bronzy shade. Okay, so here are the three shades of the Ulta Stay Cheeky Cream Blushes. There is no sheen to them. They just have like this dewy, fresh look to them. So this one's a nice cool tone pink, a nice like peach, and I would say like a nice bronzy shade. So these are the three shades. So now let me compare them to other ones that are on the market currently. First off, we have the Armani A blushes. This one is in the shade 50. Now these are not squeezy tube. These have like a little wand applicator and these are more like a I don't know what you'd call it, like more of a sheer product. There's even less pigment than the Ulta ones. And the price tag is much, much, much higher. The Flower Beauty Blush Bomb, this one's in the shade Pinched. Again, this one comes in a little squeezy tube. Squeeze out the product. This one is a bit more of like a nudie peach if you're looking for more of a nude shade. It's not quite as intense as this one. And this one is a bit more of a thick formula. I would say more in line with the Ulta blushes. Moving on to the Maybelline Cheek Heat. Like I said, this one's more of like a gel formula. And I feel like the pigment can kind of slip around on you. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So this is number 30 from Maybelline. As you blend it out, there will be like one patch of pigment that you kind of keep moving around. And then it kind of I don't know, it kind of fades out to next to nothing. So I don't know, I feel like this one is one of the more difficult ones to work with. I like the Flower Beauty one, I like the Armani ones, and I haven't tried the Ulta ones yet. But I also wanted to show you one other product, and this is from Stila. This is the Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream. And I have a few of these, I really like them. This one's Camellia. And yes, it comes in a pot, but you can get a similar color and it's a little bit thicker, a little bit more pigmented, a little bit less glossy. So if you don't want that like super shiny cheek look, this might be an option for you. You still get the color. It's still a cream product, so it's not going to look drying and heavy. So I just kind of wanted to give you your options. You can see the Ulta ones are still very dewy and very glossy. We've got the Armani one, which is more of like a tint and dries down pretty well. The Flower Bomb one gives you that same glossy look. The Maybelline one is very, very sheer, and I feel like it's, I don't know, if you want color on your cheek, this is probably not the one you want unless you want to build it up over and over. And then the Stila ones, I think they're really nice, but they have less dew than the Ulta ones and the Flower Beauty ones. So that is the comparison of formula and kind of finish for you. Now first I think I want to start off with this Natural Glow one and see if it works as a bronzer. I do have a little bit of cream bronzer on now, but I just kind of want to see what I'm working with. So I have some on the back of my hand and I'm just going to use my sponge and see if I can kind of like apply it where I want it. Let's go with this side. I want to apply it like right here. It's probably hard to tell on 
on camera, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of like a cool color here. Before I just had a lot of warm bronzy glow. I feel like it's giving me a little bit more of like that cool tone brown. You can see it right here. It has like a glossy finish. So if you don't mind a little gloss on the forehead, then this might be a nice like light bronzer for fair to light skin tones. I don't think any deeper would be able to wear this as a bronzer, but it does add like a nice kind of like dew to the cheeks and just a very subtle bronzy glow. So I like this so far. Now I think I'm going to try this cool tone pink one, dusty pink on the cheeks as my blush. Now very similar to the Maybelline Cheek Heats, these feel like they are mostly air. You squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and nothing comes out so it feels like they are mostly air and it does feel like the product is already empty and I got that same experience with these. They feel like they're mostly air so you may not actually be getting much product in the packaging. So now let's try this blush. That's pretty. Just a nice like light pink glow. I think this one's my favorite color of all the ones that I've tried so far. Some of the Maybelline ones were too pink. The Flower Beauty one was a little too peach. I really like this. This is like my perfect blush shade. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more, see how much more intensity we can get with this. Okay, I think that's really pretty. And I have to say that this is my favorite formula so far. It's not picking up the foundation underneath, which I found that the Maybelline one did. Um, the Flower Beauty one, I can't remember because it's been a while since I've tried this. I can't remember if it picked up the makeup underneath. The Armani one, I don't think did either. But this one's my favorite color so far. And you can kind of see like a little bit of glow on the face. So no need to highlight. You have that like natural radiance using this blush. So... So far, I think that Ulta Beauty is doing really well. Um, as far as the squeezy tube blushes, I would say that that is my favorite right now. As far as other cream blush formulas, I would say that the Stila is my favorite. So I definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of these Ulta cream blushes. They're nice formula, nice colors, and definitely a nice price tag. So hope you guys enjoyed seeing swatches, try on, and comparison. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.